Check out two hot new miniatures for the Tau Empire by Grimskull Miniatures. Spiky bits. Alright, welcome back Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear with you again. Showcasing some great new alternate miniatures. I know you can't see them right here because they look like blobs of resin inside of blister packs. But these are actually the Grimskull Miniatures uh, Greater Good Spectre Assassin and squad leader ghost mans uh, they are basically tau empire kind of like alternate art or i guess like alternate minis that are very similar kind of inspired by of course the warhammer universe now you've probably seen us showcase some of the i guess alternate wargame exclusive group skull miniatures on the site before these obviously are uh, very much the same. They hold true as far as like the styling and things go. Very good, high quality resin. Uh, bases come with them. Very affordable as far as you know, like pricing. And I just can't, I, I just can't say enough good things about these. So let's take a closer look at the Ghost Squad Leader. So this miniature is actually pretty cool, and like I said, it's very well detailed. They, it's basically like kind of like a. Um, I don't know, like after battle kind of miniature. So you've got this this squad sergeant guy right here. Let's see if we can get you get you zoomed in here a little bit better. Uh, it is a little small. There we go. Okay. So now you can see this guy right here. So this is a 32 millimeter base. So first off, let me just show you. This is a standard Chaos Space Marine on a 25 mil base. So you can definitely tell kind of a little bit of the scale what's going on right there. So he's about the same height as a Chaos Space Marine, right? And so you got this guy here and he has, which I thought was really neat, like a metal bionic leg right there. I hadn't seen that before from any manufacturer uh, for, you know, Filthy Xenos Tau. <laughs> now you know where my loyalties lay. And he's got in his hand, he's holding this little backpack uh, kind of thing. I know it's hard to see for all you, uh, Hobbyists out there that have kids, yes, I wanted to say backpack, backpack. <laughs> One of the best cartoons of all time. So it's got this backpack and it's holding like a little antenna kind of type deal, right? And then there's basically over his shoulder, he's got this gun slung, right? It's not quite all that same way with a cable basically hanging off of it. Now you can tell just looking at it, I mean, incredible detailing from you know, the bandolier there going across his chest with all the rounds to the styling of the gun, you know, all the things that go into it. Even the base itself is incredibly styled, like very well detailed, even the little overhangs and everything. Oh, and he's got a little uh, piece of armor thing right there as well. So very well done. Now these, both these miniatures, the assassin and this guy here go for, uh, I believe it's 15 euro. So it's roughly the same in American, it might be 16, 16, 50. Like I said, whichever way the wind blows at the time, I think it's a great looking miniature that if you're a fan of the town, you just want like a Shazo or Shasui or whatever they call them for the squad upgrade guys, you know, you might want to take a look at this guy because he does not suck. He's kind of like the, almost as cool as the one towel guy with the cigar, but definitely full of a little bit more character, I feel like, because he's basically, hey man, I just got off this mission. I'm carrying this big gun. I got this backpack, it's beer 30, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's a pretty cool one. And then of course we got the assassin, which is basically this crazy, um, I, I don't know, like amalgamization of like Tau and a Caluxus assassin that's female, that's got hooves. I don't know what's going on with this thing, but I love it. It's, it's um, obviously very well, I mean, completely inspired by the Caluxus Assassin. So first off, you got this base, and again, another 32 millimeter base, but you'll notice that it's very similar to some of the plastic bases that came in the Execution Force, that big Assassin for Assassin box set board game thing that came out, I think, I want to say it was uh, 2015. So you've got that, which is kind of like an homage to that, I suppose. And then of course you got the Assassin herself, which is you know, I could see this happening because, you know, they're technically, there's like female pariahs out there, obviously the Sisters of Silence, but then 
she has hooves. So I'm like, well, I guess that's Tao then. <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> well played, well played. So obviously very well detailed from, you know, the little, I guess, wannabe psych out grenades right there, all the way down into the styling of even the hooves have little like tread or little like cuts in them right there. I mean, it's just fantastically done. There's even like a little towel skull right there. And I think the slit means female. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm no towelologist. I'm no uh, xenoform expert or anything like that. But uh, I think that's what that means. Well, obviously we can't tell because she has her, I'm going to shoot you in the face and melt your soul helmet on. That's a technical term. You can look it up. And then here is the cast space marines. You can tell definitely kind of female in statue, a little bit smaller than the uh, than the male Tau squad leader there that we just saw. And I don't know if that's because he's just a little oversized or what. And then for her war gear and such, you've got this piece, which is basically her backpack. Backpack, backpack. And you can see right there, there's little nodes it slots right into. Actually, I think this is upside down. Yep. I can't tell. Oh yeah, there it is. It goes like that, basically. It slots right in like that. And then, of course, her two arms. Now, this one is her really in the throw. And then it's got the little wire socket that plugs into that backpack in the back. And you can see the little stud right there to the, the socket. So again, incredibly detailed. Look at those little fingers. You know, this stuff came from Russia. I mean, you do have to pay shipping, but it usually gets here in a couple weeks, you know, not any slower or faster than Forge World, and that goes right there. So again, this stuff came in a small package with some foam from Russia, pretty well intact. Now they have the whole like, you know, blister pack kind of configuration and everything like that. So I can tell you if you're, if you're wondering if you're going to get intact, it's very well done. And this is a Definitely a higher end resin that they use, uh, Grim Skull Miniatures, and of course this is sold by Wargame Exclusive on their site. And usually you get this stuff you order, you get it in a couple weeks, give or take. I think it, I think it took these about two weeks to get here, and they, they got it just uh, just before Christmas there. So that's it. A great, great miniature line. They have all sorts of stuff. You've probably seen some of those Gene Stealer cars those they actually make those over there they've got some of the faux primarchs there is a lot of cool stuff going on over at war game exclusive which you can check out all of the grim skull minis on their site deleted scenes bonus content all the interviews and post game wrap-up videos can be located in the hall of veterans on the longward.net visit the longward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached that's not all the longward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad free experience to all your favorite videos members of the hall of veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos